This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Let us begin. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh. Hand. Hand. Hold for a moment. Wait, Hold. Stop. Hoi. Stop and wait. Stickman. Run. Briefly. Mm. My heart it is warmed by this picture of Half Dome. Mm -hmm. Swirl. Swirl. Back. Good memories. Mm -hmm. Laura Bow. Here it is. <laughs> Laura it, Bow. It brings back <laughs> memories of me being here with you guys. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Bow. I am. Um, I have a lot of. I'm. I'm. I'm very glad. Like this is a rare occurrence to actually have like a menu. So many other games that we have played, especially recently, like some of the older games, have no menus, so they just drop you right into the game. And in some cases, there's an intro that you have to like skip through every time. Colonel's Bequest was like that, right? You have to wait, and they're like, "Hey, is this your first performance?" It's like, "Yes, no, it is not." So, and then it's like, well, you're still going to have to wait for the clock thing to finish. So. Let's hear it for menus, everybody. I love Woo! menus. Let's hear it for menus. Yeah. A and let's thing hear that we it. take for granted today that we didn't always have. Menus are back on the menu, boys. Let's hear it for menus and for Laura Bow in the Dagger of Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Dagger Laura Bow. of Amanda. L Laura Bow in the Danger of Amanda. <laughs> the Danger of Amanda. All right. Excellent. Right. Well, since this is our first time playing Laura Bow in the, da in the Danger of Amanda, we're <laughs> going to watch the introduction. The danger of Amanda. <laughs> My partner just handed me a couple of donuts, so I am now eating donuts. Okay, what kind? You must tell. Uh, they are uh, Mrs. Dempster's Crunch Nuggets, I believe they're called. Hmm. <laughs> That was the name of my band in high school. Yeah, I got I just got the thumbs up for my partner. They are in fact Dempster's Crunch Nuggets. So oh, no. nice. Yeah, no. That was my nickname, sorry. I get those mixed up. What 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 imparts the crunch? The they have like part. uh like sugar Nuts. and uh Yeah, like crystallized sugar on okay. the outside. Roger. I do not have donuts, but I do have a Dr. Zevia in my hand at the moment. What flavor? Dr. Zevia. Dr. Zevia. Oh, that sorry. The so that's right. That's the Dr. Pepper of the Zevia family. It's the Dr. <laughs> Pepper, yes. <laughs> right. uh, analog. Me. Oh, no. He's going to hug him. I love how this man sneaks. <gasps> Give him a hug. <laughs> Give him a little hug. Hug his neck uh, harder. Absolutely Aww. zero hesitation in the choke out. Mm. That's what you want oh, in yeah. a good choke out. Right in the chest. Yeah. And out we go. Done. Do, 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 Murder do, 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 complete. Do, do, do. Also, like, yeah. not going to find that body. That that guy was on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Producer surprised? and director Bruce Balfour. He wasn't looking at his watch while he was now. doing that, you know, just... I guess, like, I wouldn't look for a friend in their own luggage. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so... I guess that body's going to be hidden for like a few days, and if that's all you need, that's a very efficient murder. Good crime. Good work, yeah. Who, whoever. There is still time to correct this most <gasps> oh, grievous no. misunderstanding, Mr. Carter. The dagger of Amman Ra must be returned to Egypt. Stay out of my way, or I'll thrash you within an inch of your life. Goodness. Surely you can find a way to accommodate everybody's wishes. Who are you to tell me what I can do with my own property? Own. Your property? Aww. What authority do you have? The authority of the Egyptian Antiquities Service. Mm. So if you don't Ooh. like it, I suggest you waddle on back to Egypt That's and some combine British your museum own level shit right here. Mm -hmm. This is some. You use the term thrash and toddle on. Yeah, waddle. This isn't a case for diplomacy. It's a case for your acceptance. This is the most the oatmeal fight I've ever been part of. It is not just my acceptance at issue, Mr. Carter. Frankly, some of our people are quite upset. Move to take drastic measures if need be. Hmm. 
Are you threatening me, you malodorous little man? Malodorous. There are some who would rather fight back than Does that mean like bad smelling, like malodor? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Any fat savage stinky who little a fuck. finger on my exhibit <laughs> or threatens me will find himself in deep trouble. I wonder if he is actually I'm malodorous or there, if he's just using that as a as an insult. As clear as the water of the oasis. It's racism. Of... Yeah, probably. Straight up racism. I did like the way he said diplomacy. Diplomacy. Uh, we can't turn off the voices in the intro, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Trust, trust we me. We, we would if we could. Um, so that uh, we can resume. Be careful with that steamer trunk, young man. It's exceedingly valuable. It sure is heavy, Mr. Carrington. Oh, oh you got Jesus. Old bars in here or something? Oh, the contents of I'm not from the like they, they were missing an extra <laughs> voice actor, so they just recorded his voice and down pitch. <laughs> Yeah, he's like an Animal Crossing character. Don't worry. <laughs> we should just be like, what, like Charlie Brown's teacher? <laughs> uh, this is a beautiful little intro oh, with the, like, the, the panels within panels and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Are you sure you got everything? Are you sure? Yes, Daddy. Mm -hmm. You've got Sam's address at the paper? Yes, Daddy. You've got the money I gave you? Yes, Daddy. Don't worry. Put some money in your shoe. New York's a big city. Put some money in your shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going straight to the paper. What yes. could possibly go wrong? Let me give you a little more money, just in case. Dad, I've got to go. Godspeed, Laura. Call me as soon as you get there. I'll be fine, Dad. I'm going to make you proud of me. Uh, Impossible. Am, <laughs> <laughs> For you will never be my son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we'll be fine because we're clearly the uh, the heir to the Kentucky Fried Chicken <laughs> Empire. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a bit of a... Colonel Sanders vibe, doesn't he? He looks like Stan Lee from back here. That's, well, from back here, this far, yeah. <laughs> Either but way, this fine. Far. Either way. Mm. Either way. <laughs> Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Mwah. I just kissed my fingers and held them up to the sky and looked up. Because you guys can't That's see right. me. It's true. We're not live streaming. We're not live streaming. You don't get to see us. That was fun. I feel like doing we need to throw stream. an Excelsior in there if we're doing a shout oh, yeah. out to Stanley. You're right, Excelsior. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a half-hearted Excelsior. Can you give me a quarter-hearted like Excelsior? Quarter -hearted Excelsior. Really? Excelsior. Mm. There we go. <laughs> That's like you're saying it like a uh, amen in church. Excelsior. Excelsior. Excuse me, dear. Are you a secretary? Actually. I'm starting a new job as a reporter for the <laughs> New York Daily Register News Tribune. My name's Laura Bow. How notes. nice. <laughs> yeah, well. I'm Ermgard. Is this your first trip to the big city? Am I that obvious? How could you tell? I've been solving swamp murders till now. <laughs> out the window, dear. I did the same thing Just remember, when you get to the city, find the biggest, the meanest looking thing. guy you can find <laughs> and kick his ass right away <laughs> to establish <laughs> dominance. I love the idea of treating a city like a prison. <laughs> Every new city you go to. How awful. It's the New York experience. It's pretty much the plot of Reacher, isn't it? I'm you from the future, Laura. <laughs> I have a dire warning for you. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas future yet to come. Thank you, dear. You're very kind. I've doop, enjoyed doop, traveling. Doop, doop, with doop, you. Doop, doop, yoink, doop, 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 doop. Do you need any help getting home? <laughs> no, dear. I'll be fine. Thank you. You're sure you'll be okay? Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
We were immediately robbed. My suitcase. Can you spare a dime, miss? Sorry, I was literally just Certainly, robbed. Sir. I'm always ready to help those who are less fortunate. Well, that's just peachy. Give me all your money then. We're getting Excuse metroided. Me? <laughs> this seems very unfair. They're gonna take all the oh, shit we got in the last game, the just <laughs> screws and hammers and <laughs> the crowbar that we couldn't <laughs> use on anything. Down to zero. <laughs> Various valves and keys. Hello, New York. Laura Bow has arrived. <laughs> Those uh, streets <laughs> definitely look like rivers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's what streets looked like back then. Yeah, the sewers are backed up. It is water. <laughs> it's, it's like it's kind of like Venice, you know. <laughs> yeah, but with sewage. It's sewage Venice. Well, New York is the Venice, Venice is of the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I'm I suppose it probably is. <laughs> I'm led to believe that the water in Venice is not something you want to be uh, swimming in. Yeah, you don't really want to interact with that directly. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> and she just <laughs> runs through the building like Juggernaut. I really want to thank you for hiring me, Mr. Augustini. I like how people walking by with their heads down. I don't even know who you are. This guy's got a lot of skulls about his person. I believe you know my father, John Bow. <laughs> Ah, John Bow's daughter. The conquest of the longbow. How is he? From that game. He's fine, and he says hello. He wanted to know if you still had that newspaper clipping on your wall about the explosion of the Hindenburg building. But I'm blind. <laughs> I mean, it's yes, literally right there, so. The it's the like he's trying to use his eyebrows to signal for help. So <laughs> we all know newspaper magnates love bones. Wrote about it and made a name for myself as a reporter. I owe John a lot. It's like eyebrow semaphore. Like it's ooh, just twitching ooh. up and down. Reporter for a big city paper. Boop, boop, boop. I'll do my best, <laughs> sir. We usually just hire men for this job. Send help. And you're trapped <laughs> in newspaper man forehead. <laughs> That's a great shot. <laughs> I can do it, Mr. Augustini. Just give me a chance. All right, as a favor to my old pal John, but I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Thank you, sir. For your doop, first doop, assignment, doop, I want doop, you to write doop, about a burglary. Doop, doop. Some kind of uh, fancy knife was stolen from the Lion Decker Museum. I'll arrange for you to attend the fundraiser at seven o'clock tonight for their new Egyptian exhibit. Everyone will be there. Tell them you're covering the society news so they won't clam up on you. You won't regret it, sir. I have a nose for news. <laughs> I thought she was just gonna end it as I have a nose. He has Crodfaller's notes in it. Have the story ready by three tomorrow, or you're out of a job. Or you're dead. <laughs> I'm replacing this skull with yours. Yeah, the the skeleton in the corner combined with the skull on the desk. <laughs> yeah. That, that's a statement. Yeah. Either or, it could have been a gift or a keepsake. But having both, that's a thing that you do at that point. Laura Bow, a nose. <laughs> wait, just wait, stop. Laura Baines, right? Laura Bow, sir. And I believe you have the advantage. Crodfaller rhubarb, ma'am. Though you can call me rube. So I suppose you've already He's lit different fans. than us. Yes, he's very colorful. Don't let him shake you. He's tough on the outside, but inside he's, he's got a us. heart of stone. <laughs> I'm Basking sorry. in our glow. What did you say? <laughs> Never mind. Just pulling your leg. Why don't you take this desk right here and we'll get you settled in. That's very kind of you. Mr. Augustini sort of left me on my own. I have to start on this story about a burglary at the Lion Decker Museum. 
and I just don't have the first clue of what a reporter's supposed to do. <laughs> Laura looks a bit I'm like she's grieving. <sighs> we we have a grieving widow vibe about <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's grieving the loss of her money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Slap and man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. I was like, yeah. Are we waiting? And and just like that, we are into Ooh. the game proper. Ooh. Yay! We're gonna have voices all through this, aren't we? Oh no 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 no! no. I just turned you to text yeah. right now. So are you sure? Mm. Really yeah. lovely artwork so far. In this great. It's beautiful. Oh. Crodfaller T. Rube Rhubarb is one of the Trib's top writers. Among other things, he's in charge of writing obituaries, yet he's also extremely cheerful. Crodfaller Rhubarb. I hope I'm not intruding. I mean, if you're working on the burglary story. Miss Bo, please, it's not a problem. Yeah, yeah, I started work on the story, but it's not your fault it's been reassigned. That's just something I have to take up with Sam. Mm-mm. I'm going to be actually cheerful and not what that guy was. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Crowd. I, I mean, Rube. Dopey doopy doo. Doopy doop. Oh, yes, yeah, so we have a note. He's, a, for he's a good reporter, but you can hear him working because he always goes doopy doopy doo while he's typing. <laughs> Crushed by a dumper truck. Boop it open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no recollection of hearing most of these names yet in oh. the game. We all know Mr. Augustini, and uh, I, I guess the other people from the prologue that we know nothing about. But Including someone know. named Le Fat. <laughs> Le Fat! <laughs> <laughs> Low fat, high Low protein. Fat. Low fat, high protein. No carb. No carbs. <laughs> no carb keto. That would be high fat. <laughs> Dr. Pippin Carter. <laughs> Dr. Archibald Carrington. Detective Ryan O'Reilly. I think if you had the surname Rhubarb, it might be illegal to name your son Crodfaller. <laughs> <laughs> So can we just like point to something and we'll ask about it? Yeah, like let's ask about the Lion Decker Museum, for example. Uh oh, was that an audio only prompt? No, no, I think you have to exit. I, I don't know. Actually, yeah, how does that work? Yeah, there you're we go. stuck in here forever now. Ever. Is there anything I should know about the Lion Decker Museum? I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went down there. I didn't get that far in the investigation, at least, but I did not die. I met the museum's president, a stodgy old croaker named Archibald Carrington III. Cagey guy. Didn't seem overly concerned about the dagger, if I'm being honest, to be honest. Hey, you might see if you can get a little bit more out of him. You know? I also spoke with Pippin Carter. Nasty little squirt. He acts like the world owes him a living. Can you fucking believe? Anyway, apparently he's the one who originally discovered the dagger in Egypt, along with some of the other junk in the exhibit. Now he, he was hot about the dagger. Took the whole thing like it was a personal stab at him. (laughs) No pun intended. He actually wasn't looking for things. He was just walking through the sand and it stuck through his foot. Oh, <laughs> oh, a dage. Oh. No, wait a minute. Why is the dagger not among my things? Yeah. <laughs> that is weird. Huh. We don't know about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have we to find it in order to know about it. You know Laura's uh, history with weapons. We just don't touch or acknowledge them. <laughs> we don't acknowledge them. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to determine whether Laura is still cake in this or if she was simply played by a cake <laughs> actor. <laughs> or if in the this original is not Laura canon. Bob. Yeah. <laughs> or if this is not canon. <laughs> There's only two options. Or if this is a sort of Laura Bowverse situation, where there's one universe that she's cake, 
But this, yeah. she's from like universe 87 dash B. <laughs> All across the Boniverse. The Bone. The oh. Boniverse. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Goodness, let's ask him about the year of 1926. Can you tell me everything that happened in 1926, please? I have a feeling 1926 is going to be a great year, don't you? Oh, that's this year. Yeah, you ever try writing obituaries for a living? Hardly a jolly way to spend the year. Doopy doopy doo, stabbed by a my, bum. Uh, <laughs> my dad was a minister, did a lot of funerals, mm. and uh, obituaries always cracked him up because he he would do a funeral for just one of the sourest individuals that he'd ever met, and he'd have to think of something like creatively nice to say at their funeral, even though they were just unlovable in life, and he would <laughs> chuckle at the obituary because they'd they'd be really digging deep to find something nice to say. <laughs> oh. Avid churchgoer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good church attendance, go. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, attendance is all they had. <laughs> Punctual. Uh, Dr. Pippin Carter. Mm. What can you tell me about this Pippin Carter character? He was part of the Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> <laughs> a queer bird if I ever met one. Kind of comes across as cultured, yet he's a bit of a loud mouth. You know what I mean by loud mouth? Anyway, he's got a chip on his shoulder the size of the Brooklyn Bridge. He's dead. They'll try to cut you down just to shake it off. That's what I had to do. I had to shake it off. Shake it off. I, I swear, I'm not I'm not sore about it. Doopy doopy doo. <laughs> doopy doopy doo. It's a hell of a tick he has. <laughs> what should I know about Archibald Carrington? Uh, Carrington hasn't been in the States long. He's from England. But somehow he doesn't quite come off on the level. I'm saying he's an asshole. I mean, call me stupid, but I I think the guy should be more concerned about museum property vanishing. His first month on the job, too. You can't trust those English. Rube was originally a burglar, (laughs) but uh, he kept doing things like saying, sneak, 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 doopy, doopy, doo, and getting caught. (laughs) Tell us about our boss. Doopie doopie doo. Also shot by a bum. What can you tell me about Sam? I can imagine a crowdfather trying to be a pickpocket going doopie doopie doo. He's a perfectionist. I badmouth him now and then, but well, you know, he's giving me plenty of breaks, so eh, yeah, I give him a few. Doopie doopie doo. <laughs> Hands removed by police. What a way to die. <laughs> what a way to go. The fact. Let's ask about low fat. He reports exclusively on bad news. <laughs> tell, tell me about low fat. The old laundry guy? What's to tell? Huh? I don't know if you know this, I but I'm a know. white I'm a white man in the twenties. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any information about it. Oh anything. yeah, that is a no. I see it. <laughs> Have you dealt with Detective O'Reilly? Have you dealt with him Dealt yet? with him? <laughs> I know he's assigned to the case, but I, I didn't get anything out of him. Maybe you'll have better luck being a lady and all. Oh. <laughs> doopy doopy doo. <laughs> Hit by two trains. <laughs> just he was Is in a like head-on a... collision of two locomotives <laughs> they collided like with a... each other but he was he was at the exact center where they struck oh i was thinking it was like a benjamin button kind of thing where uh he gets hit by one and then flies through the air and whacks <laughs> and hits the other one and come in the other direction that, that was that was another brad pitt movie that was uh yeah. that was the death one where he was death oh meet joe black Meet Joe Black, yeah. Meet Joe Black, there you go, sorry. <laughs> I do love the idea of he's he's about to cross the tracks. He looks both ways, there's nothing coming. <laughs> and as soon as he crosses the threshold of the tracks, just wham, train from either side. You don't even see what happens to him because hundreds of cars are just piling up and there's explosions and the train unmade. Is just coming at the speed, like just slightly below the speed of light. <laughs> The air is catching on fire. Just, just two relativ- relativistic trains. <laughs> uh, like you, at that point, you wouldn't even know there was a person there. You would just be a person who disappeared. Like there'd be <laughs> nothing that could be called evidence. 
Um, well, shit. Let's ask about the police <laughs> station. Anything I should know about the police station? Yeah, well, you know, it's usually a good source of information. It's standard procedure to look there and at some point in any investigation, you know. That's reporter stuff. Sometimes they just blow smoke at you. You know, hand you the commissioner's party line and all that. Eh, once in a while, they'll give you something you can actually use. Doopy doopy doo. Born without bones. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Just a cartilaginous, <laughs> floppy baby. <laughs> oh, he wasn't a baby. Leave it to adulthood. 87. Born fully aged, but also without bones. Any advice for somebody who's brand new to the city? Well, keep your eyes off tall buildings. That's how muggers spot you. Don't leave your luggage alone for a moment or somebody will walk out with it. Or off, even. And if you travel anywhere, be sure to put some money in your shoe. Just in case. <sighs> doopy great. doopy doo. Doopy doopy doo. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> That's actually the headline. Dead, <laughs> comma, dead, comma, dead. Uh, what can you tell me about my notebook? What should I do with, with this notebook? Roll are it up and shove it up your ass. Are, are you fucking serious? <laughs> You're a reporter, for God's sake. Surely you know how to take notes. Come on. Well, why does it have all these notes already in it? What are you, an idiot? It was my notebook, and I was taking notes of the burglary investigation. Now it's your notebook. Look, I don't care to discuss it anymore. If you can't understand this, I don't know what to do with you. There's a window. Oh, okay. So now I understand why it was pre-populated, at least, which is nice. Yeah, that's a nice explanation. Yeah. Although, why did he put John Bo Dad into it? <laughs> Are we brother? Are you both brothers? Are we related? That was his nickname around here. <laughs> Have you heard the name John Bo? Yeah, he was my dad. Oh my god. Don't think so. He a relative of yours? He's my father. Well, he's not famous. <laughs> he's not dead either. <laughs> oh, right. Sam's friend. Yeah, never met him. Don't wanna. Doopy doopy doo. <laughs> Eyes exploded. Scientists yeah. baffled. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Egyptology. Any wisdom you'd care to pass about Egyptology? Look, lady, I gotta get... So uh, anyway, you've proven me you know much about, about as much of Egyptology as I do. Uh -huh. Maybe more. Yeah, uh -huh. I bow to your superior knowledge, Miss Bo. Also... Thank you, sir. No problem. I, I gotta get back... Oh, man. Are, are you all right? I, I didn't say anything at all about Egyptology, but all right. All right. Can you, uh, what's the word? Get away from me? <laughs> no. <laughs> he has not yet told us about Crodfather mm -hmm. T. Rhubarb himself. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Rhubarb. The last thing I will ask of you. Okay. Well, okay. What's to tell? So I'm a reporter for this paper, probably since before you were born. But I want to know about the real Crawfaller T. Rhubarb. Re really? You mean there's another Crawfaller <laughs> T. Rhubarb? No two sets of parents could be that cruel. That's okay, Mr. Crawfaller. You don't have to tell me your about yourself if you don't want to. Rube. 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 That's what they call me. Who, who are you call- oh, oh, Rube's your nickname, isn't it? Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> doopy doopy doo. Doopy doopy doo. H human sashimi increasing in popularity. <laughs> Cheetahs! Exclamation mark. I love, like, he's <laughs> just blazing through these articles. Each more astonishing than the last. He spends 40 seconds on each flat. <laughs> you know how many people die here? This is the science editor for the Trib. 
His latest report critiqued Goddard's demonstration of the first liquid fuel rocket, which traveled 184 feet in 2.5 seconds. At the moment, he's checking to see who signed up for the three-legged race at the annual picnic. Is is Laura looking for a man? I think I'm she's busy. grieving one. Like I'm I, busy she right must now, <laughs> I'll have to help you out sometime, though. Maybe buy you dinner or something. Quack, 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 quack. A lot of guys are going to talk like that. You should just know. The man poring over a layout is Eddie Bedletter, creator of the syndicated advice column, Dear Eddie. Unfortunately, Eddie has been divorced twice and is, stra- is estranged from his rival columnist brother, so where he gets off giving other people advice on how to live their lives is an unanswerable question. Uh, I thought they said rival columnists. Brother. It's communist brother. Did I say communist? No, but I no. thought that's what it said. Uh, uh, I, I, I like the show about rival columnists. That's... <laughs> That's something nobody wants to see. That's some tedious HBO right there. (laughs) (laughs) It's like the prestige without the magic. (laughs) It's a waste paper basket conveniently situated next to the desk. Let's go root around in the trash. You find a curiously heavy it's object dagger from in the on trash. A third, <laughs> it's the dagger. It's just a liver. Done. Roll credits. This baseball. <laughs> and thanks for watching the dagger of Emma Ra. <laughs> I would, I would have a certain amount of respect for a video game that like put the winning object like. Take, takes you on like a fucking wild chase around the city just to find something that's like in your own trash can. <laughs> uh, like you don't, you learn nothing, but you did solve the case. Uh, this baseball has been autographed by Bob Ruth, Babe's unknown younger brother. Bob never made it out of the minor leagues because he was incapable of violence and therefore would not harm a baseball by hitting it with a bat. Bob eventually quit baseball and became a successful psychiatrist. How do you know good, all this? Good for Bob, I guess. You pick it up and place it in your purse. Maybe she's uh, she's into baseball. We'll find that guy who took our, who took our bag and just hawk it at him. <laughs> this is now your desk it's very old and looks like it hasn't been cleaned and is also old mm-hmm. thoroughly <laughs> in 20 years but it's sturdy and serviceable <gasps> oh gosh it looks like an old desk blotter i see we have the scrolling crossbones <laughs> motif going we don't know what it is but it looks like an it old could desk be. Blotter. Could very well <laughs> It's the first pencil holder you've ever had as an official member of the fourth estate. Mm. 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 <laughs> you already have plenty of pencils. Yeah, you do. The desk drawer is locked. Do I have a key? No, but I do have a notebook. Let's note down. Mm-hmm. Well, this is an interesting <laughs> approach. It serves no practical purpose. We all know where the, where <laughs> the, the key is because I remember this part. <gasps> you remember? Oh! oh! You peel up a corner of the blotter to reveal a small key. I actually didn't know, but I figured it would be. Yeah, you know. Um, you pick it up and place it in your purse. <laughs> I have to flatten my blotter bag down. <laughs> like, you unlock the drawer. Unfortunately, the key permanently jams itself in the lock. Let's hope you never want to lock this drawer again. Unfortunately, that was not the key to this drawer. That was a key to anything. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) That was the choice we made. A press pass. It reads, press your pants while you wait. Low Fats Chinese Laundry, 5858 Broadway Avenue, New York. Woo. You pick it up and place it in your purse. I'm a little sad that it's not Le Fat. Yeah, I am. Le Fat. I am now, yeah. Le Fat. 
Je suis le fat. Je suis le fat. Oui. Louis de... François le fat. François. François le fat. I guess it would be la grosse. Mm-hmm. Le gros. Le Hold on a second. Okay. Accessing the save menu and saving the game takes a long time. Yeah, that sounds Just... distressing. Okay. Apparently, I uh, can do nothing with my other drawers. So, time to get up. And... <laughs> Those other drawers are just filled with congealed macaroni. Well, this is an interesting approach. It serves no practical purpose. <laughs> you throw it through the window? That's great. Just pitching it through the window, making a nice round hole and walking mm-hmm. out of the building. <laughs> People are filtering in and out of the room constantly. They're appear- apparently hard at work, and not one of them stops to give you a second glance. But all of them give you a first one. Is it because she's made out of cake? <laughs> yeah. I mean... I would assume. She seems the like a... overlooks the street, but it's so filthy that it's impossible to see anything clearly. That is, the window is filthy, not the street. Well, the street is filthy too, but it's the filth on the window that makes the filthy street <laughs> difficult to see. It's great. It's great. Reminds me of our trip to Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Montreal is all gross or always gross, but every bit of it that we visited was. <laughs> uh... One notice reads, when covering formal events such as embassy parties, please dress appropriately. We've had complaints about reporters who refuse to dress properly at social events. Oh. Wearing nothing but a Tarzan loincloth. (laughs) (laughs) One of the notices reads, some of our employees have been asking for a 40-hour work week, as has been proposed by Mr. Henry Ford. This is not an automobile factory. This is a newspaper. News happens 24 hours a day, and we need to report it. One of the notice Mm -hmm. reads, Stolen, one Victrola. Reward offered. No retribution will be exacted. That's brutal, because even 40 hours is bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) One of the notices reads, Dr. Darwin DeLoring will be hosting a symposium jazz the charleston and other sins of Mm. our times to be held in the cafeteria next (coughs) tuesday all repentant souls are invited to attend oh is he like a religious doctor apparently my my dad is a doctor as well dr reverend or reverend doctor whatever it is is that the degree uh yes it's in something like theology it's in a Oh no, did we crash? Oh no, what's happening? No. Oh gosh. No. Oh. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if Alex was going to say anything else. Uh, one notice reads, when covering formal yes. events. Okay, we've, we've been through the whole list of, of uh, notices now. I, I should know the specifics of my dad's doctor, <laughs> but I, I, I don't. Let's kick open the door to the men's room. You can't go in there. That's the men. La- what is up with this? What is up with this dame? You glance around curiously, but there's no sign of a ladies' lounge. This is patently unfair. Put fist through window. Mm-hmm. Doopy doopy do. Hot chair through window. <laughs> doopy doopy do. I-, I hope I'm not intruding. I mean, if you were working on the burglary story. <clears throat> okay, Miss Paul, please. It is not a problem. Yes, I started work on the story, but it's not your fault it's been reassigned. <laughs> that is something I will have to take up with Sam. Remember when I said that earlier? Thank you, Mr. Crow. I, I mean, Rube. Rube. You Rube. Mr. Crod Rube. Ripped apart Crod by Rube. chimpanzees. Doopy 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 One of the more fucked up parts of Fall of the House of Usher. <laughs> <laughs> yes I didn't anticipate a number of things about that show and when the chimps came back I was like oh that can't be what happens here and it, it was Yeah. <laughs> spoiler well, yeah. alert follow the house of usher it was like the second episode or something like that wasn't it 
Oh, or third. Know. Yeah, it was around I there. feel like yeah, even... Relatively it, early in the season. Even saying that there's an incident with chimpanzees won't prepare a viewer for the reality That's of that true. scene. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, we're I, out I, of I, the Flanagan uh, horror shows, that one was one of the less predictable, and that's saying quite a bit. That it, it was so. it was less predictable, but it was also maybe stupider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, much stupider! Oh yeah, yeah. In general, I'd say. Oh yeah, it was hard to suspend but, disbelief a but, few times, but so fun all the way through. Oh, I really, no, I, I really had, had a blast. I, I had a ton of fun. That fucking chimpanzee scene, man. Like, I actually really like horror. And when I saw that, I was like, ooh, I think I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm really upset right now. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. We're going to we're gonna call it for this episode. God, you know, we really need to look for some, some, some big questions, eh? I think we have a few. But uh, we will uh, we will refrain from answering any Colonel's be questions for this episode, and we will move on to the next one. See you next time. If you are watching this on the day that it airs, in the time that it airs, then we will see you again in a number of hours. If not, and you have not decided not to watch this show anymore, <laughs> then we will see you presently. Are you kidding? Do you know how much playing we got done this time? We left the building just bit. now. Like, we've got oh. a baseball. Oh, my God. We did so much possession. game. Just incredible amounts of game. Mm -hmm.